Thank you for seeing my videos, thank you for subscribing to my channel and today what I'm going to do, I'm going to install this cooler this cooler is the Master LG100AM and also I'm going to try to benchmark so stay tuned to the end to see what happened with the benchmarking So today I'm going to change this cooler to this cooler in order to uh, show you how you're going to um, install this cooler on an A4 uh, motherboard and also I'm going to uh, do some benchmarking between this and this and I'm going to see which is going to be better as always one is to uh, clean the CPU before installing a new uh, cooler from all the old thermal paste there is one side with Intel and uh, one side with AMD yep. and one side with AMD I have an AM4 so I need to put it here and I need to use this one so as you can see it's connected and from the other side there is another one and we need And I need to do this four times. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to take the old one. Now I need this four. Bracket, motherboard, now I need to put this, Well, everything is okay. So, I don't like this. Cooler Master, no good. So, we're going to the cooler, these holes. So, I'm going to put these ones. So as Cooler Master uh, is pointing out in the manual, so this is the hole for the, the screw and this one, this bracket needs to go to this side. And the same for the other side. As you see, these brackets are going to this side and the screw is here and the screw is here. So don't forget to take this level out 
if not it's not going to do any connection to the cpu so cooler master provided a thermal paste which i'm going to put you need to be aware not to touch this part because of the uh, fats in your hand they are going to avoid the contact to the cpu and it's not going to be very good so now just searching what i want to put that so i'm going to put it like that So as you can see those are short ones. I did here a mistake. I put short ones. I need to put these ones. They are uh, longer. So something that Cooler Master didn't put on his manual is that for uh, AM4 you need to put the long ones and not the short ones. That the short one is only for um there are only so second attempt. Let's see. And it's like a glove. This time it's going like a glove. So I hope that you're going to see where I'm going to put this one. As you can see, it's right here. I don't like it that it moves. And Cooler Master did this tool. No focus. And I'm going to close it with the tool. As you can see, it's not moving. Only problem, as you can see here right now, there is almost no clearance between the RAM and the cooler. So as you can see, it's a little bit. Yeah, not the best. Not the best in the world, but as you can see, it's making contact with the CPU and it's not going to fall out well as you can see everything is working as you can see i can change the led options and everything is working so as you can see i try to make uh, some benchmarking with the render in blender uh, as you're going to see uh, right now, I uh, use the one that I'm using right now. This is the Cooler Master R MA 610P, and the max temperature it was uh, 57C. The minimum that's idle uh, 30C, 
and with the other one with the master air ga 100 m the minimum temperature was around 40 c and when i tried to do the benchmark so the computer crashed so i couldn't uh, make that and this is the end result if you like the video if like, you dislike the video dislike the video don't forget to leave a comment uh, and tell me what you think about that and thank you for uh, seeing my uh, video and subscribing to my channel